quick shout outs to Sonic Soul. Uh, he's been focusing a lot on Sam show recently, and I want to guide people to his direction because it's really great, and I find him to be really enjoyable. I've seen him for a long time. My first exposure to him was through Vesper Arcade. And if you like Street Fighter, Sam Show, go follow him. This is all of his information there. Anyway, on to my video. Hello everyone, Damian Ross here, and I've been playing a lot of Sam Show, and my main is Tam Tam, and I'm kind of messing with Kyo, whatever, the, the dancer. Uh, and I started to pick up the Shield Girl because I was watching Sonic Soul stream. We saw a tier list, so I'm like, she's kind of low, but maybe she has some potential. He said that she's kind of salvageable because she has some stuff, but her main tool is her trap, which I do agree with. Uh, what you see here is just me messing with her animations and stuff. But what we're going to see here in a bit is just me trying my best to describe what I found and maybe some situations. So here we go. So what you just saw was just a simple throw. Uh, you could combo into the heavy version of her back, uh, her quarter circle back light, medium, or heavy. Uh, the light one doesn't work too much, but sometimes it does, depends, but the damage off the heavy one is actually pretty insane, and you can combo out of medium, which is special cancelable, and it's actually, it's simple, but decent damage, and quite good in my opinion. So what you just saw there was Shield Chan comboing from grab, trap, into quarter circle back heavy. And what I could say is the damage, as you could see, was really good. It's just the fact that you have to go into grab, into trap, into anything else. Now, what you might have seen, you could do a lot more out of this. But if, of course, you want to save your meter in any other case, worth it, setting it up kind of 50-50. Now, in this clip here, I'm going to show off... Just a little something extra. I just wanted to squeeze in a little damage. This I made just during the making of this video because I was looking at the footage and I'm like, hey, maybe a little extra damage here or two. Could do well. Now, from what you see just there was a little jank. It's, it, depending on how you do the distance between you and your opponent and how your medium hits from that distance, it could interrupt the juggle state from your trap. So that you always got to kind of be mindful of. Because you want the trap to fully hit. Interrupting it is the worst possibility ever. Now from there, what you'll see is actually pretty interesting. I think compared to her weapon flipping super, it might be better. But, depends on the damage. And all on you. Wow, 18 hits. Not bad. The damage is actually pretty solid. But you have another option and a little extra benefits. Your opponent loses their weapon. And in most cases, you might find it better. Or the other one, keeping your meter for later use, is never a bad option. It's always up to you. Hello, I'm just here to interject just a little bit more. Uh, what I'm showing you here is a little showcase of Shield Chan's distance on block, and some of the advantages are not that bad, especially with recoil canceling taken into account. Uh, for anyone to know, there's proximity normals in here, so far S or far, uh, I'm saying guilty or stuff, <laughs> far medium, far heavy, or far B and C, they have different um, normals because it's based on proximity. So for hers, or far C is the distance. It's actually not very bad. It's actually pretty good, especially against some characters who can't punish you with any of their normals because they just don't have anything to do. Now again, some characters could do it better than others. Some characters have other moves they could just toss out because they don't have to care because they can get away with it. 
recoil canceling. So I'm gonna keep saying that recoil canceling. So the interplay between you and the player has to be established beforehand. Do you know they like to press buttons at a recoil? Do they, do you know they like to try and get in your face? Do you know that they like to press buttons? And here, some of this distance will actually help maybe generate some idea. Because recoil canceling, you can do your specials. Some might be able to get super. Some might get DP. Some might get grab. Not grabs, but you know, can move before you. But there's a lot more to take because of recoil canceling. For recoil canceling, um, it could help punish people pressing buttons. Some actually can recoil cancel into a DP, which means you can't really touch them because their invulnerability is taken into account. Now, with that in mind, the interplay between you and your opponent is very important. If you know they like to do that, be more patient and then punish them on the way down. Because no matter what they do, there is a way to punish. No matter who or what, Genjiro Hamaru, Harumaru, Harumaru, <laughs> uh, Yoshitora, any characters with the DP, except the dancer, because, uh, Oh, God. D he has nothing. I'll just say that right now. His DP has no vulnerability for some reason. But that's just a small thing. No, it's a big thing. SK, please fix that. Anyway, um, for every other character, got to take it into account. So I hope me interjecting here is actually decent. What you'll see here soon after Shiki and Mirror Between uh, Shield waifu with herself it's the fact that um her shield or um it's like you could get a decent amount of stuff out of it it's very situational and that's the thing you really really gotta understand like she's a set play type character but she really has to get in i played her all day and it was a mirror match too, unfortunately, but she had just a real hard time getting in sometimes because of her normals and her pokes. None of them are that great, but if she has you by like a life lead, she kind of could tangle you in her own little web because uh, what you probably know by now is set trap into Eason or burst knock into your trap combo from that into Eason. that's possible but the caveat to this hopefully i used it right is your meter is gone and there's no way of getting it back no matter who or what it is gone that's how it's gonna be if you're gonna push forward towards that and for what you see here like i said it's some punishing options you could get like your counter you can't parry a low now from here where this all kind of ties in together is the distance from here you see me just tossing out the normals like hey okay so she can get this uh, she moves a little forward very dangerous could I interrupt it maybe get something out of it but Jube and you could say for Tam Tam maybe like Yoshitora maybe Hanzo like characters who could get you from a distance depending on what they do now I have recoil canceling in mind and now if they press a button and if I am quick to the drop because again always depends poke and then go into that and punish you have this option and later on you'll see like hey I could cancel into a trap cancel into uh, fire stuff like that so you have ideas to work with She's not completely useless in defensive options. She's okay. Like I'm showing you here now is the thing I was talking about just before. That out of your options, maybe as off the offensive player, a slide into some oaky read left or right roll. Okay, but now with that in mind, you have to take into her recoil cancel. Like, oh, okay, they're going to do something. Fire. Stop. Don't do anything to me. Feel stupid for trying to do something 
to punish me for me punishing you. Sit there, take the trade. It works. Again, interplay matters. Alright, another clip. Because I keep going back in the lab, getting these ideas, and I'm like, I gotta share them. I have to. Because it, it one, it helps out the community, and probably brings up a discussion. Some ideas can be tossed around between the same characters, same players, whatever. But with this, it's like, wow. Her damage potential is stupid high. And the characters have theirs too. Some easier than others. All depends. But this trap is, again, key to her gameplay. Almost to the point where you feel like she kind of has to grab you a lot. But then again, you could dodge punish. But if she reads that, you know that she's going to try and do something. Try something in response. But as you see there, that is possible. You guys might have known. I might have found it out now because I don't try and look up gameplay or anything like that too often. I try to do this all blind. And when I found this out, I'm like, wow, this could work. Because I know her dragon stomp works. I've seen a video that tries to do a combo video and stuff like that. And uh, I think on Twitter, only the dragon stomp was only shown. But not this. I'm like, huh. It's good. And there's a lot of stuff you could get out of it. I mean, of course, the damage is just insane. And getting it off the trap is even more insane. There's like a lot to it that is just crazy about her. And timing it is the most, I want to say the hardest part for for doing this. People can understand it. And what you saw there was her dashing like light, medium, or maybe heavy. I only did medium, but this works 100% of the time unlike doing stand medium at that point ah uh, shield chan is best waifu don't at me but that aside this is actually very interesting for her because of the uh grab into trap of course, setting it up like this will never w work because you, you'd get clapped 100% of the time. Uh, by the way, this version is me doing it out of the dash. Trying to see other things that she could get. Kick doesn't work, of course, because it trips your opponent. So her running uh, dash attack, basically, is the best version. Because if you know your distance between each trap, light, medium, heavy, your heavy version up this close works if you do dash attack because there's enough hits because when you're doing your medium actually you hit twice so there's enough that and distance between the opponent and the trap to make it work that's the great part now i just let you guys watch the rest of this again it's un unedited it's just me in the moment trying to do it anyway see you guys in a bit for the next section or whatever
Small interjection post edit. I actually wanted to show this in more detail. She actually kind of has a Zado complex. You'll kind of see why with her trap. Uh, it's uh, very interesting and it actually could help out a lot in some cases or in some matchups. Hope you guys enjoy it, not as much as I did.
Yeah. <laughs>